Hello, welcome to another Alpha Strike We Play video. Terra yeah, unboxing buddy. time. So you finally got your stuff from the Kickstarter. I got it a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't opened it yet. You just haven't had time. <laughs> So here it is. So we have here the Clan Invasion box set. Box set. So this is what all the hype was about. With all the, yeah. They have all the extra stuff, but this is what they wanted to, the next thing, the next box set in the range. And it looks funky dandy. It does. Yeah. So I present you with the official unboxing knife. Yay. Safety first, <laughs> etc. Et cetera. Cut away from yourself. And don't do it left-handed because it's like a monkey driving a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person's going to get that. You? No. <laughs> one other person? It's, it's a bit of an in-joke, but yes. Left-handed is like a monkey driving a truck. Yep. Uh, um, it's not my fault, I'm not dead. Let's do the uh, new box smell. Oh. Cool. That was the box. <laughs> sure it was. Sure it was. Well, don't sniff if you think it was me. Oh, yeah. Yum, 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 yum. <sighs> Good stuff. All right. So I'll put that there. What is that? It's like a novelette thing. So it's a... Uh, yeah. Little... Yeah, book to sort of give you a little feel for them. Little story adventure thing there. They're much the same vein as what they've done with the other box sets. So just yeah, a story, it gives you a little, um, little bit of fluff to try and get mm. you in, interested. And the, the lore in this is involved, but cool. It's like uh, um, an evolving story sort of thing. Yeah. It's very, very groovy. There are so many centuries of history in the game. Yeah. The storyline is just massive. And over an entire like system it's not like on two or three planets where you can say, that's not possible. There's thousands and thousands of planets, yeah. really, isn't there? I mean, you can do anything you want. They'll give you some standard, couple standard of D6, so dice. same as what they've got in the other box sets, I think. So, yep. there's that. They give you some uh, Alpha Strike record sheets for the mechs that are in here, and they give you some pilots for yeah. them as well. We are going to do some Alpha Strike at some point. Don't worry about yeah, it. It'll will, get there. Definitely. Joshua Ward. Mm -hmm. Hey, watch, watch me be cool, man. Watch. That's a Nova. Hey. And it's not printed on the on the thing at all. <laughs> Battletech recognition, fellas. Nova. <laughs> Stick that one over there, yeah. So what I really like about this is that they finally added a torso, like a torso twist thing, because with the old design, the legs would go straight onto the body here. There wouldn't be this torso twist thing. Oh, okay. Hmm. Weird. So now they, yeah, well that's, yeah, they, so they obviously they fix that now. So it does yeah. actually have a, a full torso. So it can do the full torso twist. So this this thing's nasty. All those ER oh, medium say, lasers on the arms. There's like a buck ton of ER's <laughs> on that one, and it's it's just insane. I don't know how. I'm sure you could see the quality of that. Yeah. Try a bit closer, maybe. I don't know. Eh. That's all right. Weak. All right. So what's next? What uh, the in Adder, Ooh. and I knew that one. Anyway. <laughs> it probably did. Yeah. It's kind of cool. So twin. Yeah, PPCs. I was going to say that one's got PPCs, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. So light, fast, hits you at range. Mm. Bit of a gun in Alpha Strike, apparently. So oh, okay. Look at the card or whatever to see, like points wise and things like that. It's supposed to be quite, uh, quite good. Mm. It's a fairly distinctive profile, though. Oh, it is definitely. Yeah, it's got that haunched over. Yeah, <laughs> thing and the big hood thing. Yes. It's like, yep. It's like Assassin's Creed <laughs> for a mech. Ezio out of the Ezio Adder. That's cool though. It's nice. It's very, really nice creepy. plastic, just like the others. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, we have the Grengle. Yep, the Mongrel. I think the clans call it. Okay. Yeah, the industry calls it the Grengle. It's called G R N D L. Is on the on the. Th I mean. <laughs> Jigs up. Discovered. <laughs> Damn it! Don't be such a fake, Taryn. Yeah. <laughs> You're photoshopping everything in. <laughs> so I have no idea about that one. Yeah, not, this isn't my real face. That's nice. This is a good mech too. Fast. 
Is it? Yeah, okay. it's like Seven Eleven or something. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah. It's oh, nice. maybe I'll have to go clan from now on. <laughs> you can now. Yeah. All right, we'll go with the Executioner. Mm. Executioner. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's an assault class, isn't it's, it? Uh, or is it heavy? Eight, Eighty-five or something. So it's assault. So, so yeah, yeah, low end. I was pretty sure it was a heavy one. I just couldn't remember what size. I think it's. A Pretty sure it's called the gargoyle. Gargoyle. Let's call it the gargoyle. I think so. Execution. E X C T. Yeah. They're doing it to. Oh, I don't know. They're just <laughs> making me look silly. All yeah, I, know I is, seem to think gargoyle with that one too, but yeah. All I all I know is it's that is a damn sexy mech. Look at that's, that. It's a pretty that awesome is just, mech. Wow. Yeah. That looks really cool. I have to have a little like look uh, things come off. Like yeah. <laughs> Likes, likes. <laughs> then we have, and these are these are awesome. I love these things. The way they did the model is really, really cool. These are the little elementals. Oh yeah. And they're just they're brilliant. They're brilliant. Clan toads. Yeah. Because they dubbed them when they first saw them. The elemental battle armor will rip you up if you let it get too close to you, but just the way they've done those minis. The little jump packs and all that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so one one of the guys, he's already, like, looks like he's fired his SRM pack and jettisoned it, which I, oh, okay. I don't think you can, like in normal battle tech rules, I don't think that makes any difference, but it's, uh, hmm. well, maybe it does. I don't know. It's been a while. I know they can jettison the pack for some reason. So Okay. We're going to have to go into elementals. Yeah, aren't we? We're going to oh, do well, them all and eventually, so, yeah. you know. Okay. We're going to be old men before it's finished. You know? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lasers or machine guns or flamers. So, yeah, infantry. Oh, he has two. Look at that. Mm. He's already, like, uh, doesn't have the little missile packs yeah. on, the, on the shoulders. <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah, it is That's, very cool. Oh, well done, whoever did them. And then the mainstay, the one that everybody wants to see... The Timberwolf slash Mad Cat. <laughs> See, that's one I know. Yay. It's, it's, it's pretty it's easy awesome. to remember, really. Yep, definitely one of the most popular battle mech designs ever. Like, visually. Yeah. I don't know, it's pretty good on the battlefield, too. Oh, but, yeah, you know. it's, a, it's a damn solid mech. And it's funky looking and it's got some really good configurations and, and damage outputs and armor and stuff. So you can see why people love it. Oh yeah. So he's got a bit of a walking pose. He's got a peg on there, but yeah, that's really cool. I mean, that means you can go through and change it if you want to, if you're into modding your minis. And thank goodness the scale as well. The size, yeah, I was going to say, look at, it is. look at this and against him and all that sort of stuff. It's, um, They've done really, really well with them. Yeah. Really well with them, I reckon. Here, actually, so you can see. Mm. Nice. Done cool. Okay. All right, so what else? What else? So this is the primer. So I think this just goes through some um, basics on the clans, where they are, yep. that sort of thing, what happened in, like, the major events of the clan invasion yep um by the looks of things and just gives you a little bit of a well a primer on that particular area of the canon okay so it talks about yeah so it goes past what we're sort of talking about before so this goes into like the clan invasion which is what it's all about yeah so it talks about the the clans that were chosen to come and take take back terror yeah, what they wanted. So that's your inner sphere map before they started. Yep. It talks about uh, 30, the others that moved in. Yeah. So. So that was thirty. Oh, that's yeah. thirty fifty two. Yep. So it's the same, but it's talked because he's got the clan. It's got talks about the clan. Yeah. Right, okay. So you had um, the Draconis Combine and um, well, House Steiner as well up the top here. Yeah. But the Free Razlag Republic had separated itself from these guys and there was a big war about it and then it settled down <laughs> and then the clans attacked and, just and gobbled up everything <laughs> except like seven worlds or something. So, 
but it's like oh yeah. <laughs> and they just blitzkrieg straight towards terror, yeah that's right they? with yeah. that with that super tech and everything and yeah. they were united in purpose that's what's going to happen yeah if, if you were playing when they came out it was super weird it's like you get these new tech read out things and you look at it and you go holy wow. crap yeah you know yeah. suddenly your ppcs don't weigh that much or do more damage or they they can move faster and they've got all this cool stuff and you're like oh my god that's awesome i want one it's yeah, it's quite an interesting story with the clans and things like that we won't yeah. we won't go into it here like in detail because <laughs> there's so much to go over there's a lot of stuff there yeah, yeah. like say so the the canon is is all lore is just insanely in depth. It's yeah, it's huge. If you, if you want to get into it, then you can lose yourself for months, years. So we got terminology as well for the clans. So they have words that mean certain things, and they're all listed here. Yep. So you can have a read of those and what it all means. So yeah, so there's a region key. Oh, yeah. So each yeah, so each of the Great houses are split up into their different regions and whatnot. Yep. That's, That's very cool. cool. Yeah. So there you go. So Omnimechs and Elementals. So yeah. Oh, an Omnimech. What is an Omnimech, Tara? So to my understanding, so what the, the clans did was they did mechs and construction sensibly. They went modular. They said, well, this is a weapon of war, but it's not necessarily a weapon of war that we want fixed in one position. So they went, okay, let's make our weapons modular. Let's make our armor modular. Let's make everything so you can put it on, pull it off, depending on the mission, depending on how you want to do it. Yeah. And that was so revolutionary for the Inner Sphere guys that it just, they took ages to try and compensate for how well it worked because one mech like the like a timber wolf could be one thing one week and then it goes back for a refit and it's another thing yeah it doesn't take long because everything's pod pod style it's all pods in and off you go you just so. go sh boom, 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 yeah. boom, and you're done you get you can have like a mobile thing that comes along and takes weapons and uh, ammo pods off and chucks different ones on and then suddenly you're confusing everybody that comes along because that profile no longer has those long range weapons yeah. it has short range weapons and and oh my god yeah. it just blew them away it's very cool it is yeah. very cool and the elementals were the um it was like a, a fighting cast or something and they're actually in a little like a little lion in a little pod in there or something and they're all connected to it neural links and stuff so they're they're genetically modified warriors That's it. so yes. they're like imagine arnold schwarzenegger and his prime but bigger yeah, <laughs> it's big in terms of hard. So the mountain or whatever from Game yeah. of Thrones, like a top, like they're, like, they're really they're not tall, just they're bigger, big. but like literally bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had this suit of armor that they call elemental armor mm. that allows them to jump, and they've got like claws, so they could take armor off. They jump onto mechs, and they they yeah. literally pull them apart. Yeah. Like after the pilots climb up and things like that, but they can jump. They can have short range missiles attached to them as. They, they've stuff. all got a small laser as standard, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. or a machine gun. Small a laser, flamer, machine gun, a flamer, yeah. all that sort Any of stuff. Personal stuff. And they can go, so all of the Omnimechs that they built come with like handhold type things. So there's yeah. little grips that are specifically designed for the elemental so they can be transported around the battlefield by Omnimechs. Yeah, so they just take up a torso front and back and a back location so they and they just hang on. Yep, and, and, they the, go. <laughs> and then they all drop off and start ripping stuff up and then they jump back on and he takes off again and it's like, and when you think about it, that makes sense. It Why does. didn't the Innisphere guys do it? Well, but, yeah, the technology yeah. actually make like battle armor. I mean, they just sort of have it as the story progresses, but I'll tell you what, they were very, very effective. Yeah. Very effective. And that, they are the reason the Komodo existed. I think, I think we mentioned yeah. that at some point in one of the previous videos, but they, they are the reason that some mechs that are out there in the inner sphere actually exist. And I mean, the Omni mechs are the reason that some of the inner sphere mechs exist, but this yeah. one was, a, there's a specific mech called the Komodo that was designed to take them out mm. or to try. Yeah, because of Draconis Combi, I didn't have an understanding of what they were exactly. Yeah. I said, we need to 
<laughs> we need something. There's, there's lots of them and they take a hit and that's... Yeah. Alright, let's They're put horrible. a bunch of lasers on one <laughs> dude. See if we can do it that way. Fine, Nick. So okay. What's that? So this what's is our clan invasion so rule, book. rule book. Yes. Uh, I think we've also mentioned that this is not the full rules. No. So what it, it's a... Basically, it's an expansion box set, essentially. Look at it that way. So yep. get your... Um, not the beginner box because that's got some stuff, but the this one here, of armored combat. Yep. So that's got the rules on how to play. This gives you extra rules for Full the clans, clans, plus some other little environmental things, some other bits and pieces. Bits, yeah, so yeah. Help build your game up a bit, and that's, a bit more exciting. I'm just having a quick flick through, and it looks friggin' awesome. Yeah, there's some cool stuff in there, and there's more scenarios yeah, there. Scenario, so we might have to give them yeah, a break. We'll have to try those. Talks about, oh yeah, Clan Honor has the rules for that on how they fight their society and the warriors and how yeah. they do things. And if you want to stay true to the law, you can have some really interesting games. Um, because they do that single combat thing and yeah. the, um, what is it, they have to bid for the, for oh. the right to take people out and stuff. Yeah, and like, yeah. They, because, they do weird stuff. Yeah, <laughs> because it was so hard for them when they're building a society. They yeah. had to make some hard decisions, and a lot of it was about not wasting resources, you know, because yeah. you know, why would you? When they're so hard to get. That's it. So that's what it is. So they bid. They they bid to... There's great honour in getting the objective with, with the, the minimum fewest, amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the smallest force possible, and you bid for the smallest force. So some guy says, oh, I'll take three mechs for 300 tonnes. And you go, well, I'm going to take two and take 80 two. tons each. Yeah. And then he goes, you're an idiot. And then you go, oh, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. And off they go. Blah, 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 blah. So more on if they manage to pull it off. Yeah. So swarm. So there's, there you go. Swarm attack rules. Yep. Pull so it's got a whole section on, on elementals. Yeah. And how they pull in a sphere mechs apart and yeah. destroy them. It's got more construction rules. Specifically for the clan tech, the omnis the and whatever tech, yeah. else. Because so. there were construction rules in the armored combat box. Yeah. Um, and construction is fun. Oh yeah. You got force building rules. So there's some other little bits and pieces there. It shows you where, so there's a lot of online, like official online tools that you can yeah. do to build forces and things like that for referencing and yep. printing out sheets and whatever else. So And they're definitely worth a look. Definitely worth a look. Ad hoc unit roll. Oh, there you go. Okay. So it's talking. Oh, I'm just having a look on here. The <laughs> commando. It's talking about in a sphere one. So it's talking. Okay, because they have when you're building forces, they now have uh, classifications for a mech. So oh, it's, it's got a, a roll. Yeah, yeah, a roll. Yeah. So they have yeah. a roll. Yeah. So striker, brawler, sniper, all that, that sort of, of stuff. Yeah. So they've just put a list in there of all the ones from the two box sets, so you know what they're in. So when you go to build and that sort of stuff. Yeah. That's pretty handy. Very cool. Force building. Some more art. That's <laughs> nice. Clan Honor. Zell Brigan. That's what they call it. Yes. Zell Brigan. The art of, I don't know, reducing <laughs> reducing resource costs and everything. But yeah, it's quite cool. <laughs> it is quite cool. It's, it's awesome. I just, yeah, no. Take the biggest force you can and you wipe them out quick. Well, that's, that's <laughs> in a sphere, isn't it? That's how you do it, but... Yeah, claim v claim can be uh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, and it's like I say, if you want to play with the law, like actually in the clan thing, it can make for some very interesting like campaign games and things oh, yeah. like that. You yeah, can, you can do some fun stuff with it. So, um, some clan wolf stuff painted up here, mate. They look good, ooh. don't they? Orange. Oh yeah, no, nice. like a stripe thing. Ooh. I do like stripes. You might have to do that one. Yeah, I've I've done something similar to that actually. <laughs> It's my fave! The Vulture. Yeah, I can't wait to have a look at that miniature. That'd be great. Yeah, I think he's in the Striker Lance. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, nice paint jobs. Yeah. Nice paint. Well, there's um, there's all our record sheets for those mechs. Oh, right. There we go. So they've got a little booklet. There you go. Talks about the different types that you can get. All has the BV on them. So... You can build a force with them straight off the sheets. It's all good. Timberwolf Prime. Timberwolf A. 
So they've got the Prime and A variant for most of these, so that's good. Got a couple Which of, is cool. A couple of types. And if you look at some of the resources they've listed, you'll be able to find sheets for the, the others, most likely. Or at least what they carry. Executioner, Europe. Execu it is called the Executioner. The, the Innisfear called it the Gladiator when they Gladiator. first saw it. Okay. Some of these, they have two names. You're probably wondering why they've got two names on this because when they attacked the Innisfear, the Innisfear didn't know what, what the they were. The clan designation. They yeah, like, so they who just, are they? Where are they from? What's yeah. This? So they just... And you can't be on the radio in a combat situation going, you know, the big one with the thing that goes over the what's it, you know? Yeah. So they just started calling them names. Yeah. Um, that's why the, the Mad Cat and the Timberwolf are the same thing. It's Timberwolf is the clan designation. It's the clan one, yeah. Mad Cat is the Inner Sphere designation. Because the, the first pilot who saw it, Mechwar or whatever, said it looks a bit like a catapult and a bit like a marauder. So Mad so that, Cat. Mad right. Cat, yeah. Nice. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's, That's cool. So this is your battle armor. So they have like a little, a very simplified sheet, but that is the full... That's full Battletech rules there. That's not the Alpha Strike thing. Don't get yeah, confused. Yeah, so that's... You You have a sheet for a full point of these yeah, colours. The dudes, yep. So they have... It's like an actual armour dot. They don't have internal. That's that's an internal. That's the dude. That yeah. shaded one there. Yep. So once you scribble that one out, that, that guy's gone. Yeah. That guy. So you look at something like the Komodo that was, that was designed to try and take these guys out and you have 10 medium lasers that do five points each. Yeah. So they've got 10 armor and then yep. the dude inside. Yeah. So, so you need to hit them with three lasers technically. Technically. Yeah. Yeah. So two of them will do 10 points and then you need to hit him one more time to get that last point in. Your, your clan lasers do just that little bit more. So a couple of hits will do it, but yeah. Merc unit, salvage, do it. Okay. <laughs> so they've got some record sheets for locusts and then in here as well. Yeah. Are they the clan versions or are they just different versions no. of the ones that are in the armored box set? So these have, because the timelines progress, there's more technology that's opened up. Yep. So the Inner Sphere also have access to some, some new newer things. technology. So, so they've got different versions. Yeah, so let's have a look at the Commando 5S. So we've got a medium laser, an SRM-6, and a Streak SRM-2. Okay. And the SRM-6 has Artemis, which helps you... Gives you a better cluster roll. Yeah, yeah, better on your cluster So roll. Streak, I mean, we're going to go into these eventually. But yeah. Um, streak is just basically if you can't hit, it won't hit. It won't fire. Yeah. So if you don't get it, if you don't get a successful attack roll, it, it won't, won't fire. fire. You don't get any and hits, you hit with you everything. Any yeah, and streak you hit one. with everything. And uh, Artemis just gives you better on a cluster roll, which is cool. Yeah. So none of that existed before the clan came back. It was there, but they didn't know how to do it. They didn't have access to it. But when the clans came back, everybody was scrabbling for stuff. Um, and they figured a few things out and they salvaged some stuff from clan things and yeah and so all of these new variants of mechs started popping up very nice that's good so yeah, oh here's your catapult Ooh, let's have a look what's he got that's the k2k two er ppcs and an er medium laser oh i took my missiles away well you know but he's got a boatload of armor <laughs> yeah he does <laughs> Double heat sinks, 20. Double heat sinks. So he's firing oh, pretty much everything every turn, really. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So what is, is that? Oh, no, it's the Thunderbolt. Okay. Thunderbolt, yep. So he's he looks a bit streaks. archery from back here without <laughs> the glasses on. Yeah. There's a couple, oh, a couple of those. Is there an Atlas? Not yet. Okay. No, not, not in. Are you sure? Not in these. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is a there is an atlas in the force. Yeah. Box. It looks vaguely atlasy, but that must be the executioner or, or gladiator or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you also get a, a reference guide. So you got your reference guide, and you've got a little standee Ooh. sheet and a bit of that. We've mentioned these before. They give you a little pop out extra terrain. They're double sided. So look at those. There's um. So this one obviously means so it's from the clan box. Yep. And it's got all the uh, Extra clan level and stuff pieces. that you need. That's quite handy. These are nice. Yeah. So have a look at your with your um, Kickstarter unboxing. We had 
some more of those sorts yeah, of things. So yeah, so in the Kickstarter, I got um, the reinforcements, and it's just like a whole bunch of standees for various mechs, um, which is very, very cool. That means you can have a pickup game with anyone, anytime, and you don't have to lug all your minis around and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, ooh. So new maps. New maps with lots more levels. So this one says Hilltops 1, but it's in the same, it's in the same colours and sort of thing as the um, grasslands mm. and from the, uh, the box sets. Yeah. Same colours, same thing, so it's quite good. Yeah, Hilltops number 1 and on the back is Barrenlands number 1. Which I don't think matches the colours of... Well, maybe it does, I don't know. Of what? Of the, uh, the flip side of these... Oh, because they had like a more deserty looking one, but I think this yeah. is quite different again. Yeah. Oh, it's got rubble. Okay. Yeah, see, this is Barren Lands and number two. Types. Yeah, you've got rough rubble and nice. a lot more level difference, a lot more um, height variation. I I've got a level five. Whoa. There's a couple of level fives and fours here. So you're you're mucking around with a lot more um, a lot more height. And then you've got yep, yeah, Rolling Hills number two, which again is a lot more foresty and, and height variation and it's a lot more dense a map. And that's a good thing. You you're building up to the dense maps rather than just chucking people in them at the beginning. Your, your catapult with the PPCs, ERPPCs. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't think they have a minimum range, so you can. Yeah, the ERs don't have a minimum, so yeah, That's rock nice. and roll. <laughs> two. But you get something like a hatchet in one hatchet man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Level one, level two, level three, level five. Yeah. Yeah, nice. There you go. So that. So this is your map poster. They do this regularly. So this is 3025 Inner Sphere. Let's hold that up to this yep. one. I think that might be easier. So 3025 Inner Sphere. So have a look and pay particular attention to this top section here. Um, you can see that it's not devastated at all. The Draconis Combine and, and uh, Allure and Commonwealth are there. They're happy. They're meeting in the middle sort of thing. Getting along. And I then not. <laughs> 3052 happens. Oh, someone came to visit. And oh, you know what? We want this bit. So you've got Jade Falcon, Wolf, Ghost Bear and Jaguar, Smoke Jaguar. And they've just gone yep. straight towards Earth. Because they're mongrels. Yes. <laughs> but they're efficient mongrels. They're people that know what the hell they're doing. It's a nice poster. Hey, uh, it's a nice paper. It's nice. Like it's really yeah, yeah, nice it's thick, thick quality stuff. Very cool. Is that the bottom? Oh, God. That's the bottom of the box. That's the Jeez, bottom of the box. In they did well. They did very Fun. well. Okay. So, yeah. fancy poster. You got some more maps. Extra. Cut out dudes, so you can have bigger games. Yep. An updated reference sheet. These are always so good to have. Oh yeah, get as many of them as you can. Some extra Look record after sheets. Them. Rule book. Rule which book expands everything. Invasion primer. Wow. Okay. Nice. Boop. Nice. There we go. Boom. So, you like that, Taryn? I love it. Yeah. That's the best. That is very, very cool. I'm going to have to go through the rules and see what they've added and what they haven't. So, there's um, a lot of people waiting for a clan box set to come out, like for years. Oh, yeah. Oh, years and like years they wanted something. Specific clan. Yeah. So, now we have a really, really nice clan box set. I think it's done it justice. It really does. Oh, bloody hell. It's nice. Yeah. And I love Kickstarter, so they combine my two favourite things. Yes. <laughs> Taking your money. <laughs> so you just show up and take my money. <laughs> so there you go. Mm. Battletech Clan Invasion box set. Very nice. 
Very cool. Very nice. Yeah. I'm looking forward to playing. <clears throat> We're going to give this a shot. Yeah. All good. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.